Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. Today, well not today, but a few weeks back I went on a shopping spree and I got all the 22LR that I could find uh, in store. I bought each one of them and this video is about ranking them up. See which one should best in my Ruger 1022. Stay tuned. So the, for the, the process here, you know, how I'm, I am ranking them is I, I went on a bunch of tests. Uh, the first one was to weight each bullet. Well, not each bullet, but like, you know, I would open a pack, pick 10 randomly, weight them, uh, seeing if there was a lot of variation between one or the other and see if that variation will actually make a difference uh, at the range, you know, in group size, in average velocities, uh, so about the group size, the way, the, the way I did it is I shot three groups, different days. So it's like different version of me shooting the same brands of bullet in different situations. So the, the first group was shot at the range seated and I didn't have the bipod, I only had like a, uh, my bag. I knew I couldn't base my, um, my conclusions based on this, you know, one shot, uh, one group for each bullet at that point. I knew I had to, to do multiple pass. The second shooting session I did was out in the wild, on, you know, on my own terms, no range. I set my target more or less 25 yards because I didn't know, I didn't have any precise way to measure it, but you know, I, I, I guesstimated it. And this time I was prone using the bipod, super stable. And actually, you know what? Those are the best group of all of all three. Each group is five shots, by the way. And then the third time, I went back to the range, uh, seated using the bipod. Uh, the groups open up a bit. Uh, you know, I guess it's the difference from being prone to seated. But here, you know, with that third group, I'm starting to see a trend here, and this is where I'm gonna base my conclusion. I could shoot, you know, another group and another and another, but at, what, at which point, you know, it's, it's gonna make sense or not. So out of the top five, I think the two now that I'm going to add in my arsenal are the Remington Cyclone, because I find that they were the most, with, within all three groups, they were the most um, consistent in terms of group size. And to me, this is proof of quality, but of consistency in the build of the bullet, you know? So that means that you, you know exactly, more or less, what you're going to get every time you open a box of Remington Cyclone. The second bullets that I really, really like are the Ellie Target. Ely, Ellie, I don't know, Remington Ely. Remington Ely, uh, yeah, let's see. Assuming it's Ellie. So the Remington Ely uh, Targets. The clubs also are cool, good, but not as tight as uh, the Targets. Target was super, super small. Uh, super small group and actually after after this session I went on and shooting because I was so impressed with the target that I actually even have a, some closer group than what I actually have in the test so that I test to uh, to something the worst of the lot <laughs> and when I say worst of the lot it's not by a small margin it's by actually a wide wide margin you know while most on the average I was shooting half inch group uh, at 25 yards, the CCI Stinger, I was getting 2.1, 2.3 inches group. Uh, this is mental. This is like, there's, and I don't know, maybe it's my rifle. Maybe some, some of you have different results with this, the, the CCI Stinger. But to me, there is, uh, I'm sorry, you know, one of the trends that I'm seeing is the higher the velocity, the less accurate it starts to be. And maybe downrange that accuracy catches up, you know, as other bullets just drop on the ground, maybe those bullets will maintain their, their flight path a little bit better. Hopefully, I hope. Otherwise, I don't, you know, uh, I don't see any big incentive uh, at using them for small game in the 25, 50 yard range. It's better with the, the data on hand, right? So, all right, in the top five, okay? And this is based on all the three groups, I averaged the size of my three groups, so those are the best. I sorted them from the smallest average to the biggest average. On top, we have the Remington Cyclone. 
second to the LE target, then the CCI subsonic, and followed by the Remington subsonic, and then the Winchester suppress, super suppressed. And those give me the smallest average. Now, you know, when I was uh, in the process of gathering all the data, I weighted each bullet and I ranked them and my assumption would have been that the, the most variation I would get from bullet to bullet within a brand will be actually less accurate uh, at the range, but this is not what happened. Um, in fact, the Ellie, the target and the Ellie club had among the one with the most variation. They're not, the, the most variation was the subsonic, but see, the, tech, the target, Ellie target and the Reming 2 subsonic are still in my top five. Um, as opposed to uh, two that had very low difference from bullet to bullet were the Remington Viper and the CCI Stinger and those two are the worst in my uh, group average. So uh, I thought I was onto something, you know, waiting, waiting each bullet, making sure that oh, probably this, group's gonna, th this bullet's gonna group better than the other, but no, it didn't, it didn't translate uh, that well on paper. Um, The best group I had during the, this test was the Federal Champion. But Federal Champion only happens to be, you know, really mid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight in terms of ranking. And that's because group size one was super wide. I had over one inch of size. My second group was 0 0.3 inches and my third group was uh, 0.988. So that's, you know, th th there's a huge difference between the three. So this is why the average is high, but that was the best group I had across, across the range. The worst group I had, and this is consistent, the CCI Stinger was the worst group of all. So yeah, that's a uh, horrible, horrible. I like CCI, you know, it's, uh, I think the select is decent. Subsonic was my favorite. I'm a bit disappointed to see the CCI, but also let's note that the CCI Stinger, and this is, you know, comparing apple to apple, sometimes uh, it's difficult. Uh, the CCI Stinger is 32 grain, okay? It's not like a 40, like uh, the others. Uh, that being said, the heaviest bullet here was the Winchester Super Suppressed with 45 grain. In terms of velocity, so there's the advertised velocity and the average velocity. The slowest was LE target in average, okay? That was the slowest I had with 989 feet per second. The advertised velocity is 1,085. I assume with a longer barrel, right? Uh, this is an 18.5 inch. Uh, I don't know, maybe they were shooting with 22. Uh, 22 inches barrel. The fastest was the Stinger with uh, 1,471 feet per second. Advertised was 1640, 1,640 feet per second. So in a nutshell, top five is number one, Remington Cyclone, followed closely by LE Target, then CCI Subsonic, Remington Subsonic and Winchester Super Suppressed. And you know what, let's, let's go with the last four that I will avoid is the Remington 22 Golden, Remington Thunderbolt, Remington Viper and CCI Stinger. So that's it folks, that's my ranking of all these various uh, 22 LR that I could find. Of course there are <laughs> more brand there that I wish I could have you know, got my hands on, but has to do with what we have here. Have you been using any of these bullets? What's your experience? Let me know. I know a lot of people love the CCI Stinger. Uh, I'm surprised to see what I have here. What's your take on it? Um, do you have similar experience actually with, uh, you know, with the ranking that I have here? Yeah, so let me know in the comment. I wanna, I wanna see what you guys think what, and learn from your experience as well. So I can maybe try and test this a bit further, push things a little bit further. And that's it, we'll see. So, small game hunting 22LR. Happy hunting, folks. See you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>